Good day, grade 5. Welcome to our science class. I am Teacher Joey, your virtual teacher for today. Today class, we will travel to another lesson in science. I know and I am sure that you are all excited for another fun-filled learning activities for today. So let us now begin. But wait class, before we start our discussion, try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Kindly bring out your pen and paper so that you could jot down some important notes needed for your learning. Always remember class that having knowledge is having a power. Today class, we are going to discuss about electromagnet. I am teacher Joey, your presenter of the day. In our last science episode, you have learned about determining the effects of changing the number or type of components in a circuit, specifically in series and in parallel connection. That in series circuit, it has one-way flow of electricity or one-way arrangement of the wire, while in parallel circuit has light bulbs with different loops. In other words, it has its own pathway. For a quick review class, can you determine the following pictures or illustrations whether it is in a parallel circuit or in a series circuit? For our number one, very good, that is a series circuit. Next, number two, excellent, that is a parallel circuit. And then the last one, very good, that is a parallel circuit. So it seems that you already learned about this topic. Let's now proceed to our next topic. Look at this picture class. What do they do? On the first picture, if you want to get inside a property or a house with gate closed, you need to look for a doorbell to have somebody open the door or the gate for you. This type of alarm system uses the simple magnetic attraction between a piece of iron and a magnet to alert homeowners that a window or a door is need to be opened. While in this picture, it is an electric crane that has an electromagnet that attracts scraps of metals. And these devices or machine is powered by what you call electromagnet. Electromagnetism has a lot of application nowadays, starting from electric fan, from your blower, from the doorbells, from your television to the advanced type of bullet trains is powered by electromagnet. So in this topic, you will be able to design an experiment to determine the factors that affect the strength of the electromagnet. Electricity is one of the sources of energy that is most consumed today. It helps our daily activities more convenient and makes our lives more comfortable. But my question now is, what is magnet? And what is electromagnet? So magnets, a magnet is usually made of iron. It can attract objects such as pins, coins, and other materials made of iron or steel. Magnets have invisible magnetic field. It exerts a non-contact force which is a type of force that acts at a distance even without physically touching the objects. And magnetism is a force all around us. We cannot see it but the way it behaves and acts can be seen. Magnets exert a force of attraction on anything made of iron, nickel, and cobalt. 
Magnetism is the ability of the material to attract certain metals. So in a magnet, we have what you call North Pole or the South Pole. A pole of the magnet that points to the north is called the magnet's North Pole. And the opposite end of the magnet points to the south is called the magnet's South Pole. Magnetic poles are always in pairs. You will never find a magnet that has only North Pole or only a South Pole. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang North at saka meron siyang South. Hindi pwedeng mag-isa lang yan. Magka-parehas yan. Mag-asawa yung dalawang yan. So, next is, magnets have invisible magnetic field. It exerts a non-contact force which is a type of force that acts at a distance even without physically touching the objects. We have several types of magnets and its polarity. This can be in the form of U-shaped magnet, horse's shoe magnet, ring magnet, bar magnet, and circular magnet. One end of a magnet is called the South Pole while the opposite pole is called the North Pole. This is the reason why a magnet are called dipoles, meaning they have two opposite ends or poles. We have the North and we have the South. Take note of this class that when two magnets have the same poles are placed close to each other, they repel or push each other. But when two opposite poles are placed together, they attract or pull each other. How does electromagnet works? So an electromagnet is a device made temporarily magnetic by electricity flowing through a coil of wire wound around an iron nail or bar. So combined electricity and magnet can produce what you call electromagnet. So a metal object acquires magnetic properties that attract magnetic materials with the help of electricity that flows through it. The amount of magnetic materials attracted to it depends on the strength of an electromagnet. So the strength of an electromagnet varies depending on the factors involving. Just like the coil of wire, nature of core material, current passing through it, and size of the wire. Now, let's proceed to the factors affecting the strength of electromagnet. First of this is the number of coils of wire. The strength of the magnetic field depends on the number of turns of wire you apply in the coil. The greater number of turns of wire, of course, the stronger the magnetic field it produces. While the lesser number of turns of wire, the weaker the magnetic field it produces. So, ibig sabihin dyan, class, na kapag mas maraming ikot ang ginawa mo or number of coils of wire, ay mas malakas ang electromagnet. So, ibig sabihin, pag mahina, pag mahina yung um, paghugot ng mga pins later on, ibig sabihin, konti lang yung ikot ng wire doon sa coil. Number two factors is the nature of a material. So, heto na yun yung nail na gagamitin later on. The metal core used inside the coil increase or decreases the magnetic field it creates. Iron core help produce a strong magnetic field. So, the metal core help produce weak magnetic field. So that is the metal core, while neodymium core produce strongest magnetic field. So that is the example of neodymium 
core. So, yan yung gagamitin para mas malakas yung magnetic field. So, number three factor is that current passing through the core. So, this is now the battery. So, the amount of current flowing through the electromagnet also affects the magnetic field it produces. The greater the current flow through the coil, the stronger the magnetic field. So, when using two batteries, a source of electricity increases the electromagnet. While the lesser the current flow through the coil, the weaker the magnetic field. So, kapag mas madami kang ginamit ng battery doon sa electromagnet, is the more na maraming mahuhugot na mga metals ang isang electromagnet. So, number four factor is that the size of wire. So, using different kinds of metal wire also affect the strength of the magnetic field. The larger sizes of the wire in the coil will increase the current and strengthen the magnetic field. While the smaller sizes of wire in the coil will of course decrease the current and weaken the magnetic field. So kapag mas marami daw o mas mahaba ang ginamit mong wire is the more na mas malakas ito. While kapag maliit, syempre, weaker yung electromagnets mo. Electromagnets class is composed of the following. We have the battery, the nail, the metal objects, and a copper wire. So this time, let's do this activity to make your own electromagnet. So the first one is to get long nail and a piece of wire about 100 cm long. Number two, make an electromagnet by winding the electrical wire around the large nail. So meaning, papaikutin mo yung wire. Number three is that connect both ends of the wire to a dry cell. So i-extend mo lang siya tapos ididikit mo doon sa negative part and then the positive part of the battery. And the number four is to place some paper clips near the nail. So, ready ka na para tignan natin kung malakas yung electromagnet nung ginawa mo. So, observe what happens. Count the number of paper clips picked up by the electromagnet. And then, number five is remove one end of the wire from the battery. So, pag ni-remove daw natin yung isa or yung positive lang yung andyan, observe again what happens. So, anong mangyayari kapag tinanggal yung isa? Mag-weekend ba? Or what? Number six, this time, attach the ends of the wire to two dry cells. Place the nail near some clips and then observe. So, ano naman mangyayari kapag meron tayong dalawang battery? What happened? So, I think you learned something today. So, you are now ready to take our assessment. So, read each item carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer.